Hi, Omar. How are you doing today? Uh, very good. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here today. Maybe you can you just start off by, by giving us a bit of an overview about your company. Well, uh, thank you very much uh, for having me on your show, Gilbert. And about Revolve, well, it is an ESG-focused investment opportunity. We are in the renewable energy development and generation business. Our projects are in the U.S. and in Mexico. And the company focus uh, is wind, solar, battery storage technologies. And we also have distributed generation projects that pro provide us with long-term recurring revenue uh, stream. Our assets consist in uh, two types of projects. One is utility scale projects. These projects are large projects such as wind farms and solar farms, which are able to power hundreds and thousands of house, houses or homes. And the other type of project we have is distributed generation, also sometimes referred to as DG. So with DG project power generation is centralized to uh, the industrial scale customers, such as a manufacturing facility or a hotel. This can be uh, behind uh, the meter or connected uh, to the grid, such as wind rooftop solar, uh, ground mounted uh, solar, battery storage and related energy efficiency projects. Great. Uh, so let's delve in a bit of more your business model here. So how do you does your business model profit, and uh, and what are the strategic reasons of choosing U.S. and Mexico as your main uh, locations of the projects? Uh, Revolve diversifies its portfolio using a number of uh, methods, but basically it is based on our long experience developing projects. Um, our knowledge of the market demand and our relationships in the industry. Now, for how our business model profits, uh, well, we have two ways to, to profit, the large utility scale projects and DG projects. So for the first ones, uh, for utility scale projects, uh, its development takes over three to four years and rights uh, for greenfield projects all the way to the development uh, to the stage of ready to build that's what we do and uh, we secure all levels of environmental uh, permits and complete all engineering studies then exit from the project where it is sold to a major utility firm now talking about uh, the dg projects its development, it takes normally six to nine months. We construct, we finance, and enter into a long-term power purchase agreement with uh, the customers. This provides us with a long-term recurring revenue stream. Now, about why choosing the US and Mexico as a strategic lo uh, locations, Currently, the world demands a compliance with the goal of need zero emissions. Therefore, in the case of Mexico, it can be summarized in three elements. The legal framework, the market demand, and the country's electricity generation goals in terms of renewable energies. Secondly, in the case of the US, it is a key market, absolutely. And it can also be explained through uh, the increase in ESG uh, policies in companies and the country's energy transition towards clean energy. And proof of that is the recent publication of uh, the Inflation Reduction Act. Great. So as... The audience may understand as the energy transitions continues to move forward, we see more renewable energy needed uh, in the future. So how is your company going to 
um, position itself to face the increasing number of competitors? And, and what kind of risks are you uh, uh, going to mitigate and uh, face in the future? Revolve is proactive. Revolve has been in business since 2012. We have a long term, uh, uh, we have a strong track record and have delivered a five times returns on investment to our shareholders, where we developed a product from Greenfield to uh, and brought it to ready to build status, then sold it uh, to a utility scale major. And we have excellent relationship in the industry and uh, marketplace. The major risks, mm, I would say that the world has a date to reach the goal of net zero emissions and it is 2050. So the major risk for all countries and companies is called time. So our strategy is to be proactive and purposeful, providing development and generation of clean energy solutions for countries and companies in the North American market. So let's delve in a bit about your recent uh, developments. I believe your company uh, completed a financing recently uh, with a secured loan. So how do you going to use these uh, proceeds of funds and uh, do you need to raise capital uh, further in the future? Uh, the funds from our last financing will be used towards expanding our distributed generation portfolio. We will be installing 3.2 megawatts per hour battery energy storage project. We own this project and are uh, responsible for installation and operation. We have a 10 years uh, energy service, services agreement with uh, the customer, which is a major hotel chain in Mexico. And yes, <laughs> we are always entertaining any financial, uh, any financing ideas. So currently, who, who are your major shareholders in the company? Uh, let me say it in uh, three key points. Our issued and outstanding is a uh, 54.9 million. Second, fully diluted is 74.9 million share. And third, personally, 60% of our shares outstanding is owned by insiders and close partners. Nice to hear about that uh, holding. So in conclusion, can you tell us a bit about your, your, your planning for the next 12 months, any catalysts? Uh, in your company that are coming. And so why should investors uh, be following your, your story right now? Well, let, let me tell, the, uh, tell you this. About the 12 month plan, we will keep developing our utility scale projects and expanding our DG portfolio. As to why investment should invest now, I can give you three quick reasons. One, we are an ESG focused investment opportunity with renewable energy projects as key drivers toward net zero emissions target. Second, our strategy. We have diversified investment strategy providing investors access uh, to higher development returns from utility scale projects development balanced uh, by long-term recurring uh, cash flow from distributed generation projects. And third, we have a long-term track record in uh, the sector delivering historical revenues of uh, $70 million uh, from 300 megawatts of development assets. Uh, this project uh, that I'm mentioning has reduced 525,000 tons of CO2. Previously, our shareholders have had five times returns of their investment. We are growth. Uh, we are a growth. Um, we are a growth-oriented uh, uh, company and have proven our expertise in this business. So we know what we are doing. 
And if you have any questions, uh, please visit our website or feel free to email us or, or you can also contact us by phone. Great, uh, Omar, thank you for your time here today. I think investors should be following your stock uh, closely for some uh, of your exciting developments in the near future. So again, thank you for your time here with us. Thank you, Gilbert. Thank you.